Today I'm going to show you different ClickUp dashboard ideas that you can create in your ClickUp workspace. Now, if you don't know what ClickUp dashboards are, they're basically like these highly customized views that you can create using different widgets and you can create multiple different ones. You can basically just see everything that's going on in your workspace. And the dashboards I'm going to show you how to create are morning routine dashboard, a night routine dashboard, and a goal tracker dashboard. So let's just get right into it. All right, so the first dashboard we're gonna create is the morning routine dashboard. And to access your dashboards, you just click right here and then click the plus icon here. And now I'm gonna quickly give it a name as well. So morning routine. Okay, so now we're gonna add widgets. So the first widget we're going to add is a notes or a text block widget. I'm gonna call this morning routine because this is where I will add my actual morning routine. So I'm going to add a checkbox list like that. And now I'm just gonna write down everything in order that my morning routine consists of. And I like to highlight things as well. Even make it bold. Okay. Now, the next widget is going to be a task list widget. And it's going to be called Today's Agenda. And the location should be any lists that you want to see at the same time. So for me, it's, let's say, for example, these two. I want to group it by due date. And you can add filters as well. So the filter I could add, for example, is due date is today. So that will show me tasks that are due today and nothing else. Add a widget. There we go. And you can adjust these as well if you want to. The assignee is only me, so I always hide this column because it's honestly not needed. And I like to add other things as well, like time estimates. Okay, next widget is going to be goals for the week. Goals for the week, that's the only thing. That's the only one I'm gonna show. Perfect. Now I'm going to add a few pictures using the text block. And I'm just gonna add a picture here. And then I'm gonna add a separate widgets for just notes thing I want to write down and then maybe another picture as well and then I just start rearranging everything so to rearrange things you have to just hover over this area here and then just move it move it around Let's move on to the goals tracker. So click the plus again, the name. Now we're gonna add a widget and the first widget is going to be all of my goals. So this is gonna be multiple different ones. So January goals, qu first quarter goals, goals for the week and 2022 goals. So multiple and then I want to maybe sort them by due date add widgets 
Now the next widget I'm going to add is text block. And this is basically going to be my journal text block. And here I'm actually going to add different documents that I have to journal what went right, what went wrong, all of those different things. And I already have those docs created in ClickUp, so I'm just going to link them. Firstly, I'm going to add the text. So weekly goals. And then I like to add little emojis as well. And then I'm going to go to another tab where I have my docs open on ClickUp and I have my personal tags. So I'm going to click here. And then you go to settings and there's this copy link option. You click here, then you go back to the other tab and just, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to paste it here. And then if you drag it to the side, it'll go like that. I'm going to do the same with all of the other ones. And then I'm going to add widget. I need to go down here and then add a divider. And then maybe add ideas. Now the next widget I'm going to add is a vision board so i'm going to use the text block for that i just got a random vision board from pinterest to just show you an example i have it right here so you just click on it add it and then you'll be able to see it so i'm going to adjust this later and the last thing we're going to add on this dashboard is a project tracker and it's right here so yeah it's called portfolio and it's to categorize and track the progress of lists and folders now how are we going to do this so basically so if you have lists that are categorized by different goals this is a great way to track how you're doing with those goals or big projects that have a huge influence on your goals. So it's an easy way to track the progress of these, of those. Let's just call it a project tracker. Now you can add lists and folders. I'm just going to add lists. So add widget and it's right here. So now you have all of these columns here. You can add a few, remove a few, whichever. You can customize it however you like. I like this color option because it shows me which ones are like courses that I'm maybe taking or some short-term projects that I have or which ones are actual goals. So I definitely want to keep this. I want to keep the progress bar, the priority. Yeah, I'll add that owner. I don't need the owner one because I'm the only owner. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this plus icon here and we're going to remove the owner. But now we need to adjust everything. So let's just do that. Put it into viewing mode and there we go. The last one is going to be the evening routine dashboard. So let's click plus again. And this is pretty much the same as the morning routine, just only a few differences, but it's nothing super different. So the first widget we are going to add is a text block. And it's the same thing. You're going to add a, you're going to add a routine that you do. All right, so next is going to be another text block because I want to add a cute picture as well. And then another text block just for notes. Whatever I have on my mind or I want to write down later. Then I'm going to add a list 
uh, because I want to see what's going on today and tomorrow. Same lists, whatever lists you need to add. And then, of course, they're going to be grouped by due date. And the filter will be that tasks that will show will only have a due date of today and tomorrow. And when you've done this, make sure that this part says or not and because if it's and then the filter will think that you only want to see tasks that are due today and tomorrow which is not physically possible you can't have one task be due on two dates so nothing will show up so make sure it's or not and there you go and then hit save and there you go and then the last thing is another text block and i just I like to add maybe a GIF here and then shuffle because I remember there was a cute GIF of Pottery Hepburn in bed with a cat that I thought would be very fitting for this dashboard because, you know, it's an evening routine dashboard. Another thing I really like to add to this dashboard because I basically listen to it every night and it's a, a great way to access it on this dashboard while I work on my evening routine, for example, or I'm going to sleep, is something called Oldies Playing in Another Room. And it is so fun. So if you want to add some sort of YouTube video or a playlist or something, you can easily do so. You can just get the link, copy it, and then when you go back to click up here, if you paste it, it's embedded on this note here. And like that, add widget. And now you have to adjust everything exactly like the other dashboards. I'm not going to do this because I already have the finished one right here. But yes, this is what it's going to look like at the end. And yeah, that's basically how you create these three dashboards. Now, if this video inspired you to create your own dashboard or your first dashboard in ClickUp, or just check what ClickUp is all about, then give it a like and subscribe for more videos all about digital productivity. And let me know in the comments which dashboard are you gonna create. I'm very curious to find out which one is the fan favorite. I hope you have a very productive day and I will see you next time. Ciao.